Hi, I'm Eric Haddon, Vice President of Sales and Marketing here at Laval Underground Surveys. And in this video, I'm gonna take you through some of the top things to consider when configuring your deep water borehole inspection system. At Laval Underground Surveys, we produce systems as shallow as 350 feet, like our ultra portable SC350, all the way up to deep water borehole inspection systems that can reach 5,000 feet. This vehicle-based system that I'm in now is a 3,000 foot configuration. And that'll be one of the first things that you need to consider when evaluating your deep water system. How much cable will you need? That will help you decide whether or not you're looking at a vehicle-based platform like this, a trailer-based platform, or a skid-mounted system. For example, our Model 50 winch that holds up to 5,000 feet of cable, that cannot be outfitted on a skid-based system. So automatically you're either looking at a trailer-based or a vehicle-based system. But having in mind how much cable you think you need is going to be an important first step in the process. The next important decision that you're going to have to make is an electric-based system versus a hydraulic-based system. And there are a couple of different factors that can ultimately influence your choice. The first is going to be vehicle platform availability. There are going to be some vehicles that do not have a hydraulic pump clutch kit, which is a critical factor in helping the hydraulic system of the winch operate. We draw power from the motor of the vehicle to help supplement the hydraulics, but there are only a few select vehicle systems that exist that have that pump clutch kit availability. So making sure that we're getting a platform that we know we're going to be compatible with is going to be key. The other factor to determine is how much cable is on the reel. Systems that are deep water systems from about 3,500 up to 5,000 feet are really susceptible to electrical interference from other outside sources. So for that reason alone, you're really going to want to look at a hydraulic based system. They can be a bit more maintenance intensive in the long term, but you are going to keep out any interference that could hamper the fidelity and clarity of the image. Now, if you're looking at a system between 2,000 up to 2,500 or even 3,000 feet, we've got a lot of different options. We can go with an electric-based system. Vehicle choice is really nearly unlimited, and we don't have to worry about the maintenance issues associated with a hydraulic system in the long term. But ultimately, it's going to come down to what you're most comfortable with and really how much cable's on the reel. If you're selecting a vehicle or trailer-based system, a big decision that you'll have to make is the configuration of the interior space. Popular options include adding a second monitor so that guests or visitors can view the survey footage in real time. Other options include bench seating so that those viewers have a place to sit. And what's convenient about bench seating is you also have storage located underneath. All of this can be configured using our industry-leading 3D modeling software before we even receive your vehicle. You'll work hand-in-hand -hand with the sales department and the engineers to design an interior space that fits your needs, whether it's in a trailer or in a vehicle-based platform. So you've designed your system, you know you want a vehicle-based platform, you've configured the interior. Now the question becomes, when will I receive my system? Typically, a build like this will take anywhere between 90 to 120 days. Right now, of course, we're living in the age of COVID, so lead times can fluctuate considerably. I would budget between three to four months from the time you place your order to the time you receive your new system. Another popular question that we receive is, how do I go about recording my survey footage data? It wasn't too long ago that we recorded everything to physical disks, to DVDs. Now, everything is stored in solid state. Every deep water system that we build will come with a solid state DVR that has 16 gigabytes of internal storage and 16 gigabytes of expandable external storage, meaning all of your survey data is going to be stored in solid state. You don't have to worry about losing footage or not finalizing a disk, and you can easily share this footage by putting it in your computer, sending it to the cloud, or burning another USB to give to a customer. It's a great, convenient way to capture all of your survey data. If you're looking at a deep water camera system, regardless of whether it's vehicle based, trailer based, or skid mounted, you'll be using our flagship DC5150 deep water camera that's capable of going up to depths of 5,000 feet. Another great feature of this camera is that it can survey wells up to 30 inches in diameter. Now, there are going to be certain situations where you're going to want additional lighting. And with the DC5150, we offer the cam light accessory that can be added to your camera either at the time of purchase or later down the road if you feel you need it. But it's a great way to add additional illumination in large diameter wells. Now, there's quite a bit that you can do in the field to help maintain your system. 
A cable head repair kit is a great example. As you use the system, eventually the connection between the camera and the cable head will weaken and will need to be replaced, but we sell field repairable kits that will allow you to do that repair in the field in as little as two and a half hours. You can order them directly from our office or order them online, but it's a great, simple, easy way to get you back up and running. If there's ever a maintenance issue that you can't resolve, feel free to call our offices. We've got a team of full-time staff technicians available to help diagnose and troubleshoot your issue in the field. And in the event that your system does have to come back, typical repair time can be anywhere between two to three business days, and we'll have you back up and running and in the field. Thank you for joining me. Hopefully this video has answered some of the questions you may have about a deep water-based camera system. If you have more questions, feel free to call our offices at area code 559-251-1396, or you can find us online at lavalunderground.com.